Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to enable ransomware protection to files and folders within Windows 11. But enabling ransomware protection in Windows 11 requires that you set up OneDrive for your Windows 11. And I'll tell you why you require to set up OneDrive. Let me show you how to enable the ransomware protection in Windows 11. Click on Start button and go into Settings. Type Windows Security in the search box and select that. You can see under Virus and Threat Protection, it shows OneDrive has not been set up yet. I will click on Set Up OneDrive. I will type in my email address and click Sign In. I will type in my password and click Sign In again. You can see it says that my OneDrive folder is here, which is C Drive Users My Name and OneDrive folder. If you need to change the location of your OneDrive folder, you can click change location and select a folder. I'm going to click on cancel and click next. You can back up your folders to OneDrive. By default, it is going to select my desktop folder, documents and pictures. And I will show you how you can add the additional folders into your OneDrive. I will click on continue. If you need additional space on your OneDrive, you can click on Go Premium and pay the additional fee for the additional storage of one terabyte. Or you can click Not Now. So I'm going to click on Not Now. It will show some basic information about how you can use your OneDrive. So keep clicking Next. I will click Later for the mobile app. Click on open my OneDrive folder to show your OneDrive folder. In here, you can see all the folders and files in your OneDrive. I'm going to close this out and open Windows Security again. And you can see I no longer have the setup OneDrive message. So I'm going to click on virus and threat protection. Down here, you can see manage ransomware protection under ransomware protection. I will click on that. To enable ransomware protection, I will switch it on for controlled folder access. Click yes on the prompt. Now to see the folders currently being protected, click on protected folders, click yes again. So these are the default folders here that are protected by default. These are some of the folders which are under my user profile. If you want to add some additional folders, you can click on add protected folder and you can protect any folders on your computer. I will cancel this out and I will click back. So basically the ransomware protection in Windows 11 will back up your protected folders from your computer to your OneDrive account. In case of ransomware attack, you can restore your protected files and folders from your OneDrive. You can also view the block history or you can allow an app through controlled folder access. So if I click on block history, you can see all the latest protection actions and recommendations from Windows security. Currently, it is filtered by block folder access. And if I click on this filter, you can select the additional search filters such as recommendations. And if I click on that, it will show me some additional recommendations. It says that I need to sign in with Microsoft for enhanced security and other benefits. And it also says that the setting to block potentially unwanted app is turned off. I'm going to click on filter again and you can click things such as quarantined items and then cleaned items, removed items, allowed items or restored items. I will click on allow an app through controlled folder access and click yes on the prompt. This option would be useful if your controlled folder access has blocked an application that you trust, but you know that it is not malicious. And if you want to allow that app, then click on add an allowed app. You can select a recently blocked app or you can select browse all app. And once you select the app, click on open. But I'm going to click cancel on this and click back. 
All right, this is how you enable ransomware protection and add the folders that you would like to protect. I hope this has been informative to you. If you like this video, click the like button and for more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.